Good morning and welcome to our devotional here on this Friday. God bless you. Pray that you have an awesome week and that God has been just taking care of you and watching over you. Amen. Um, the title for today's devotional, it's a, it's a, it's a question as well as a statement, um, but it says, where's your treasure? And it's based on Luke 12, 34. And um, it says this, wherever your treasure is there, the desires of your heart will also be. Well, if you haven't noticed yet, Christmas is almost here, right? And uh, the commercials are slowly starting to show up a little bit. And the stores, God, they're already uh, selling decorations. Uh, Pastor Fran and I were recently uh, doing some shopping and ran into some really nice, nice decorations that caught our eye. So I'm not gonna tell you where, because I wanna be able to go back and get them. And if I tell you, then you're gonna go get them, then I won't get it. So I'm sorry, I'm gonna be selfish here. But I really liked the, the, the dark decorations. It was at Costco so you can go but um, I really need some nice decorations that caught our eye and, and uh, I think it's time for us to update a couple of decorations that I think that that I that I kind of kept in memory and maybe go pick them up uh, I'm looking forward to that but um, but this happens to be probably for me the most one of my most favorite times of the year um, it, it's not necessarily just the gift giving and all that stuff that don't get me wrong it's great to do all those things to buy gifts for my family and to go shopping and eh, not so much but uh, I, I like shopping if I know what I'm gonna get and kind of get it after we've been there for a little too long then I'm like okay just buy it let's go right but um, I enjoy this season. I enjoy if we do it leisurely. I don't feel like I don't like rushing to shop, uh, like like cramming to buy things. I, that's not me, but um, but I think also the bigger picture for me is that we remember uh, and we acknowledge, and of course we celebrate the birth of our Savior and Lord Jesus Christ. Um, but here's the thing: I, I think over time, and I mean this in the sense since I was a young young boy, I think. Time has moved from remembering and acknowledging to just plain celebrating and celebrating not so much the birth of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, but the element of Christmas, right? And I think that's what drives us now. I think commercialism is set in um, and consumerism is set in as well. I mean, think about it. It's characterized how we in our society have lived from the clothes that we wear, is it out of season, is it in season, to even now, uh, for a long time now, the technology that we use from uh, the fanciest new cars to the uh, you know clothes to, to phones, obviously phones and tablets and iPads and all that stuff, to even tools. I've even purchased tools because it's the newest one and it has a new feature to it. Uh, I, I purchase them for the purposes of doing work here at church. And, and of course, technology from computers and of course, laptops and whatnot. We want the newest. We want the fanciest. We want the fastest. We want the most creative things that are out there. And we're not satisfied. That's just the truth. We're not satisfied with the old, but always we want something new. And that is what consumerism has brought to our life. And more specifically, it's brought it into the element of Christmas. And so I've seen people unhappy to be honest with you, because they lack what someone else has. They look at it, they're envious for it, and they want it. And they're always wanting more, they're never satisfied. You get something, you have it, and then something else new comes out, and so now you want that. There's never a place of satisfaction. Comparing, and they hear what they have, and what the others they don't have, and who has this, and who doesn't have that, oh my gosh. I think what's important is that we gotta be careful that we don't fall into this mentality that we don't fall and become victim to the things that we just based consumerism, right? That's, that's where our treasure is starting to hold. The Bible tells us in Luke chapter 12, verse number 15, it says, uh, then he said, beware, guard against every kind of greed. Life is not measured by how much you own. Isn't that, tr there's just so much truth there, right? I mean, I've seen people that, that, are, that are modest, that they are getting by, and the family is absolutely happy. These, these children are content. They, they just love life. And I've seen those that have more wealth than, than they need, and they're unhappy. They're bickering and they're fighting over the money, and more importantly, over the things uh, that they have. And so I think that um, I think that there needs to be a place of gratitude. Now, I'm so grateful for the fact that Thanksgiving becomes before Christmas, right? It gives us the opportunity to, it's a good reminder, as we would say, that uh, we must be thankful for everything that we already have and teach us that we have been blessed and, and that our lives have more than we need sometimes. The Bible tells us in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse number 18, be thankful in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you who belong to Christ Jesus. 
You know, as we approach Christmas this year, folks, I want you to ask yourself, where's my treasure? And as you lead now to Thanksgiving, let's make sure that we, we, we do properly place it towards Christ, that we are giving thanks because our hearts are grateful. There is gratitude within us. Let, let the Word of God remind you that, you that you have something great within your life that has come from the Lord. I close with this scripture, Matthew chapter 6, verses 19 through 21, and it says, Don't store up your don't store up treasures here on earth, where moths eat them and rust destroys them, and where thieves break in and steal. Store your treasure in heaven, where moths and rust cannot destroy, and thieves do not break in and steal. Wherever your treasure is, there the desires of your heart will also be. I want you to bow your heads with me as we close. Thank you so much, Lord. We thank you all that you have done for us and you continue to do within our lives. I pray, God, that you take care of us and you watch over us, Lord. And I pray right now that we examine our hearts and we look for what it is that you and you alone can do, Lord. I do believe, Father, that there's great things for us and we are blessed beyond measure. I believe promises are yet to be revealed, but Lord, there needs to be a heart of gratitude. You've clearly defined that. And I pray that during this time of the year, we start it off right. We look for ways of being able to be grateful and thankful for what we have and what you've given us, that our hearts wouldn't be centered on what this world does through consumerism, but Lord, that they would be centered on gratitude and thankfulness, Lord, for what you've done for with our life. I pray blessing over your children now. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you. May the Lord be gracious unto you. May the Lord turn his face toward you and may he give you peace throughout this week. Amen. God bless you and thanks for joining us. Well, thanks for joining us here on this Friday, and uh, God bless you. Thank you so much for um, being part of our, our devotional ministry. I want to remind you that tomorrow is Saturday. We do go through the process of, of working here and uh, projects that we're doing for the little house. Uh, some people have seen the progress, and they were really, really happy with it. And I, that, that brings joy to my heart because we do want it to be a place of, of congregating and gathering and, and breaking bread and having a good time together. It's so important. Fellowship is an important aspect of everything that we do in our walk. So. Uh, we're working here at 10 a.m., working hard to, to continue that. And if you want to join us, come on out. We're here at 10. And then we want to invite you back as we continue on in our series that we just uh, belong in, in, in good faith. And, and I do believe God has something great for us. Again, 10 a.m. Uh, Sunday morning here in Facebook Live or preferably in person. God bless you. Thanks for joining.